Welcome to Global View. Join us on this multi-visual journey around the world. The Spirit of America. preservation of the sacred fire of liberty and the destiny of the republican model of government are justly considered as deeply, perhaps as finally stalked, on the experiment entrusted to the hands of the American people. these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The great fundamental issue now before our people can be stated the American people fit to govern themselves, to rule themselves, to control themselves. I believe they are. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Members of my cabinet and my fellow Americans, the First Lady and I are delighted to welcome you to the second annual Salute to America. On this wonderful day, we celebrate our history, our heroes, our heritage, our great American flag, and our freedom. Happy 4th of July to everyone. I want to thank the U.S. Army Golden Knights for that truly awe-inspiring display, tremendous talent. The Golden Knights and every member of the Armed Forces here this evening, 
We just want to say that you have earned the eternal gratitude of our entire nation. 244 years ago in Philadelphia, the 56 signers of our Declaration of Independence pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to boldly proclaim this eternal truth that we are all made equal by God. Thanks to the courage of those patriots on July 4th, 1776, the American Republic stands today as the greatest, most exceptional, and most virtuous nation in the history of the world. Our workers, our factories, have revolutionized industries and lifted millions into prosperity. Our artists, architects, and engineers have inspired the globe with transcendent works of beauty. American heroes defeated the Nazis, dethroned the fascists, toppled the communists, saved American values, upheld American principles, and chased down the terrorists to the very ends of the earth. We are now in the process of defeating the radical left, the Marxists, the anarchists, the agitators, the looters, and people who, in many instances, have absolutely no clue what they are doing. Our inventors, scientists, doctors, and researchers have improved the lives of billions and billions of people all around the world. Our brave astronauts planted the American flag on the moon, and America will be the first nation to land on Mars. As the world watched new protests erupt in Hong Kong against a national security law introduced by Beijing, the UK and Taiwan have both offered assistance to Hong Kongers that wish to leave. The new law punishes crimes of secession, subversion, terrorism and collusion with foreign forces with up to life in prison. On Thursday, Prime Minister Scott Morrison said Australia will also offer support. Uh, we do find uh, these events very concerning and we've been very clear about our statements that in concert with many other nations. This is not a position Australia has uh, commented on in isolation. We've done so with many other like-minded countries about these events. Morrison says they will offer safe haven visas to those who want to exit the former British colony and said they were putting the final touches on the proposal. Authorities in Beijing and Hong Kong have repeatedly said the legislation is aimed at a few troublemakers and will not affect rights and freedoms but critics fear it will crush freedoms and the city's independent legal system. The law has also drawn international outcry from the United States and the European Union, who have warned of serious consequences over the law. Britain said it would stand by its word and offer all those in Hong Kong with British national overseas status a special immigration route, where they can stay for five years to live and work in Britain. The BNO passports were created when Britain handed Hong Kong back to China 23 years ago. It follows the British Foreign Secretary Dominique Raab's comments on Wednesday, accusing China of breaking its promises to the people of Hong Kong. Britain and Canada also updated their travel advisories for Hong Kong yesterday, saying there was an increased risk of detention. Speaking in Parliament, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said... We stand for rules and obligations and we think that is the soundest base, basis for our international relations. And the enactment and imposition of this national security law constitutes a clear and serious breach of the Sino-British Joint Declaration. It violates Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy and is in direct conflict with Hong Kong basic law. The law also threatens the freedoms and rights protected by the Joint Declaration. We made clear, Mr Speaker, that if China continued down this path, we would reintroduce a new route for those with British national overseas status to enter the UK, granting them limited leave to remain with the ability to live and work in the UK and thereafter to apply for citizenship. And that is precisely what we will do now.